Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to let the 3D object to animate follow a path or a curve in Icron 8 3D animation software. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. And as demo, I'm going to just call out a really simple object, just for example, any of a 3D block. So I'm going to choose it from here, for example, a ball 004. And then next I'm going to create a curve. I click create a path. First you click create a path and then click create a path. And now you can't see anything. I try to hide this. I go to the scene and I hide this. Then I click create a path then you can see now I'm drawing a curve I'm drawing a path once I press escape then it is going to back to the original and each of the single point you can edit let's say you click edit point then you can adjust the location of the whole path actually and then click the create path again now you can see this is another path so I'm going to delete this and press delete this one enough and just now I already create an object this is the ball 004 and then this is the, the car this is the curve this is a path and I try to make it bigger like this and I can try to rotate the, the path as well and next, I want this object to make an animation that follow this curve, follow this path to animate. So I double click it, I scroll down, and then you can see a path at here. This is under the path that I click here. Just go and click the path. Now you can see this object follow the, the curve already. And then now this is the path position and at the beginning at here now, you try to play actually nothing happened just because of you not yet create a keyframe it is really simple to let this object to follow the curve to animate like this so first you may just go to the window then go to the workplace choose animation by default it is standard i choose the animation then you can see this and first i'm going to close the curve editor because for this time i don't need the curve editor and then here change it to fit to window so that you can see all of the keyframe here so now if you double click you can back to there Under the modified here, you double click the path, you double click the object, then you scroll down, you should be able to see the path at here, the percentage. Let's say if you want to set after two seconds, it is going to finish the, the curve at here, then you should just play for two seconds, one second two seconds then you back to the you back to the path and make it to become 100% that means if now you back to the first frame you try to play you can see within two seconds it is going to complete the path and the keyframe is here let's say if you want it to complete the path in in a longer time you can just drag this curve to be high then you try to play back to the first frame the zero frame you play then now it is getting slower because of the last keyframe is set here this is for follow the curve in a constant speed now if you back to the back to the workplace the standard workplace and you try to play actually it follow the curve so 
if you want to render this, you need to hide, hide the, the path, just unseen it, then try to play. Now you can see it follow the curve, it follow the path, but you don't want to see the path, of course, because the path is just the animation path that you are going to set. And that is really easy to just create a path and set the keyframe. All right, now if I send it again, I switch it back to the animation. Then the workplace under the animation. Close it again. Wait, where is the cube? I switch it back to the standard. Now the cube is right now. Just now I hide hide it. Now we go to the workplace of the animation. And again, you check fit to window. Double click this. You can see this is the last frame. What if you want this it you want this to be moving slower at the beginning and then it's getting faster at the end, you can set the keyframe at here. So now you, you may back. Let's say after half of the time you want it to just maintain it at here, then you can you can just go to the modify, switch the path to become let's say 25%. So now this is another frame. Now you try. If you try to play at the beginning, it is slower. Then after this frame, it's getting faster and faster. To get it faster, then this one you can switch it to here. So for this part, long distance, it is slower. At this part, it is faster. You can try. Now I try to play from beginning. At the beginning, it is slow. Then it suddenly increases the speed to be fast. So here you can simulate the acceleration. It is really easy to create. It is not that difficult because you should you just need to play with the timeline and the percentage of the path here. Then you can create the keyframe to fulfill your needs. Now I'm going to switch the workplace back to the standard and then I'm going to hide the path, try try to see. Now it is moving and getting faster. Right, it is it is done. That's all for today about my tutorials on how to let the object, the 3D object in iClone 8 to animate, follow the curve and path to create a path animation. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my videos, tutorials and sharing, if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials or sharing, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animation and 3D game developing. See you!